Okay, she said, my husband picked up a small, cute mannequin jewelry display with hooks. When he handed it to me, there was this bracelet hanging off of it, and I asked him what it was. He said, I don't know. It was on there when I bought it. Hey, Bolo Buddies. Thanks for watching. All right, you guys, in this video, we are going to talk about big money bolos. And there's going to be some that are just a little bit unexpected that maybe aren't as big. But items that we should be on the lookout for when we're outsourcing at thrift stores, garage sales, estate sales, I'm going to tell you where they got it, what they paid for it, and what it sold for. I posted Share Your Best December Bolo in my Bolo Buddies Facebook group, which is now over 100,000 members. If you're not in it, definitely come join. Share a bolo under the share post, and I will feature it in a video just like this. Um, it is under the announcements slash featured section, usually at the top. So look for that and come share a bolo. All right, let's get started here. This is the new format, so I'd love to know what you guys think. I feel like the picture is going to be bigger and easier to see. So you guys let me know down in the comments. So the first one here is not a huge money bolo, but it's kind of one of those that you would probably walk past. And I, I like those because I probably wouldn't have picked this up. It is a Hoover Power Scrub Carpet Elite Replacement Hose and Cleaner Accessories for like pet. It says pet. She said, in addition to listing my thrifted items for resale, I also added some items that have been taking up space in our closets that are no longer of use, like this Hoover carpet cleaner attachment. I no longer have the vacuum, so why not get rid of these items too? Sold it on Poshmark for $34 plus ship shipping. This one comes from Jiffy Thrifty on Poshmark. So this was cluttering up her closet and she listed it. How smart is that? How many of you have replacement parts to like your vacuum or a vacuum you used to have and it's just sitting in your closet? There you go. You can get it listed and make $34. <laughs> All right. This is a vintage Fisher Price loving family accessories, food cart trays, dinner turkey from the 90s. I actually had a whole whatnot show on Fisher Price loving family and I sold stuff just like this Christmas. So a lot of people were buying Christmas gifts, which was great timing for me and great timing for them. Now, could I have made more money selling the items on the platforms? Absolutely. But on whatnot, what I'm doing is I'm moving as many items as I can as quickly as I can. It's a totally different format. If you guys want to come check it out, I would love for you guys to follow me on whatnot. There's a link down below. You can get $15 to shop when you join whatnot with my referral link and come watch a show. Uh, most of the time I do jewelry, but I do dabble in toys. Uh, probably be doing more of that in the future, but taking a little break and just focusing on jewelry right now but I've done Fisher Price Little People and I have the replays um, under my live shows if you guys wanna see how those items sold. A lot of times I'm lotting up the toys and doing different things like that. But anyway, let's get back to the video. She sold this for $25 plus shipping on Mercari. She said, I purchased a large bag of Fisher Price Loving Family vintage accessories at a church rummage sale several months back for 15. I pieced the items out in lots and this set just sold for 25 plus shipping. And she is Jiffy Thrifty LLC over on Mercari. So check her out, you guys. All right. The next item that sold comes from Leo's Treasures. That is her eBay store. It is an anthropology Natalie Leet white blue monkey floral plate scalloped. So it is a plate. And let's take a look at the back here. This is what I wanted you to see, the writing. So really easy to uh, look it up. She said, I found this anthropology plate at the Goodwill bin. So it probably cost me $1.59. My store was on sale. So the plate sold for $66 and the buyer paid shipping. The Goodwill bins. How did this make it at the Goodwill bins? That's what I want to know. Rush CD lot of nine. The Rush remasters all factory sealed. Wow. She said, I bought several vintage sealed music CDs at an estate sale for a dollar each. I put the nine Rush band CDs in a lot. Total cost $9. They sold for $130.50 and the buyer paid shipping. Wow. All sealed. I would have bought every single one because these look like older discs. Wow. 
That is really, really fantastic. Nice bolo. Lennox Peanuts Snoopy Home for the Holobit. A holobababa. <laughs> <laughs> home for the holidays Christmas ornament in the original box. And she said, this is Leo's treasures as well. I purchased this Lennox peanuts Snoopy ornament at a local thrift store for $2 and 99 cents and sold it for $67 and 75 cents. And the buyer paid shipping. Yes. In the original box collectible. It's Snoopy. People love Snoopy. Nice little bolo. Great pictures. It's all there. It's all there. All right. What is this? Air blown inflatable six foot Christmas robot animated arms lights. Rare blow up new. It's arms move. <laughs> Christmas spirit meter. Oh my. Purchased at a small thrift store for $9. Sold the day after Christmas for $155.74. She said her store was running a sale. eBay store name is My Secret Treasures. Sold after Christmas. After Christmas, guys, I just had quite a few items that were Christmas items that sold after Christmas. Now, one of them was like a fiber optic snowman, and you'll see it in a future video. But I had it listed, I want to say, in the $100 range. And they were trying to get me down to around $50. And then it was like $65. And I'm like, no, I'm going to stick at $75. And they ended up buying it for $75. So a lot of times people think, I'm going to wait till after Christmas to get that after Christmas sale. And would I have sold it for 75 before Christmas? Yeah, probably. I probably would have. But um, hey, it works for me. I was happy for the Bolo sale. And like I said, you'll see that in a future Big Money Bolo video of what I sold. If you guys want to see my Big Money Bolos, just type in Bolo Buddies. Um, I am your featured seller or Big Money Bolos. I have a whole playlist of my Big Money Bolos. So check that out if you're interested. I got this item at a yard sale for a dollar and sold it for full asking price of $85. This is just to show that even book club editions in poor condition of desirable books can still have value. Okay, you guys, this one comes from Childhood Finds. She is on eBay as Childhood Finds, but also on YouTube. And her YouTube channel is fantastic. She sells the coolest stuff. Look at the condition of this book. Would you have listed it? Would you have walked past it? Would you have bought it? What, I mean, what would you have done? She got it for a buck and sold it for $84.95. So she knew it had value where I would have looked at it and probably walked right past it. All right. The next item comes from North Sam 17 eBay store. He said, I found this vintage 1971 Mattel Big Jim Nakoma action figure at the Goodwill bins listed for $99.50 and sent an offer for $89.50 and it sold in four days. I'm sure I could have gotten full price or even more because I had nine watchers on it very quickly, but I paid less than a dollar. So uh, less than a dollar for it. So I'm happy. All right. So here he is. He is an action figure by Mattel. Check him out. Look at his muscles. <laughs> All right. This one comes from Piece of Scrap. That is her eBay, Poshmark, YouTube, everywhere. She's Piece of Scrap. Instagram, check her out. Wrangler Western denim jacket, 44 long, trucker coat, blanket lined cowboy. She has great keywords. Paid $9 at the Goodwill, accepted best offer, best offer on eBay of 58 plus shipping. Um, it is... Wrangler, Wrangler brand. It's in really nice condition. You can see she's got great photos. She's showing the buttons. She's showing the lining. She's showing the collar. She shows it all. That's what you need to do, guys. That's great for, um, here's another example, clothing seller. She does a lot of clothing and shoes. This one here is from Piece of Scrap also. This one she sold on Poshmark. $3.75 at a thrift store sold for 57 full asking price plus shipping. And it is a Wana Coma. I kind of like that. I like that neck. I like high necks. Full zip Hestia <laughs> cow sweatshirt jacket size large. Ooh, I like that. That is a sharp looking uh, jacket. And that's what the brand looks like. Made in Turkey. Made in Turkey. Very cool. Uh, here's another one from Piece of Scrap, and this one sold on Mercari. And yet this just shows that she is very 
versatile on the platforms that she sells on. And she's making big money bolos on all the platforms. I do have a link for Mercari. If you use that link to join, you will get $10 to shop and another $20 to shop when you sell $100 worth of stuff. So check that out. And then they also give me money to shop. So thank you for using my referral links. And I have a link for Poshmark that you'll get $10 to shop. So all of my referral links are down below and those help me keep the channel going. It costs you nothing and it helps me a lot. So check those links out. I appreciate it. This one is a new with tag Smart Wool Murano. Mur I feel like it's Murano, but it doesn't look like it's spelled right. It is. I just am saying if you were to sound it out, I could be saying it wrong. Anyway, it's a wool pullover crossover neck top shirt. She sold it for $97 plus free shipping. And I know I hear people say, oh, Mercari is a garage sale app. Well, you guys, she just sold this for $97 on that garage sale app. It is not a garage sale app. You can sell big money bolos definitely on Mercari. And she is piece of scrap over there as well. All right, here, look at this little cutie. I got this at my local Goodwill store. I was first looker at a blue bin they rolled out and staged by the toy section. It was sitting right on top. It sits at five inches tall and is in excellent used condition. Bought it for $2.69. Sold in a week for an offer to watcher of $89 plus shipping. eBay store eBay store arts desk on whatnot as don't cry, just buy. Awesome. Thank you for sharing that. And thank you for coming to my whatnot shows. That's awesome. Uh, you guys, if you're not on whatnot, definitely come on over. There's a link down below. You can get $15 to shop when you use my referral link down below to join. Don't cry, just buy is on whatnot. I'm Bolo Buddies. Come hang out. It's super fun. No pressure to buy. Just come hang out in the chat. It's like, I do a lot of untanglings and unboxings and um, jewelry shows. Super fun to see what I find and what things sell for. So come hang out. All right. This was a, this one is pretty cool. Uh, this one is from Carolina Romer. Purchased this in a lot. Oh, wait. Hold on. Well, that's odd. It got moved. How did that happen? Hang on. Okay, here we go. Picked up a lot of six Shell Silverstein. Sil Silverstein? I read these as a kid. I, Shell Silverstein. Steen? <laughs> it's, it's like the Berenstain or the Berenstein. Which is it? Shell Silverstein. Stein. I don't know. It's something. But you guys remember a light in the attic. I don't know these other ones, but or where the sidewalk ends and a light in the attic are the two that I remember. The missing piece falling up, the missing piece meets the big O and the gang tree or the, oh, the giving tree. So I don't really know the other ones, but anyway, this is a really cool bolo. Um, Roaming the Wilds is the eBay store and the YouTube channel is Carolina Romer and he is a new YouTuber. So go check him out. He said, I picked this lot of six first edition, first printing hardback books at my local thrift store, Steps to Hope in Landrum, Carolina, for a dollar each and sold for a best offer of 200. So there you go, guys. Um, it, it does help probably that they're first edition and first printing. It's good that he went in and checked that. And I'm sure he's got other tips like that on his uh, channel. All right, let's see what's next. Star Wars a vinyl record. Lot of three Empire Strikes Back, Return of the Jedi, all original. So they're records. Purchase this lot of three Star Wars vinyl records in the vinyl record section at Steps to Hope Thrift Barn in Landrum, South Carolina. Paid a dollar each and sold at auction for $100. This is also Roaming the Wilds, Carolina Romer on YouTube. <laughs> this next one is hilarious. This is a rare Austin Powers Mr. Bigglesworth cat plush toy, vintage 1999. Is that a hairless cat or a hairless dog? I think it's cat, right? Yeah, it's cat. Picked up um, this 1999 Commonwealth Austin Powers Dr. Evil's cat, Mr. Bigglesworth at the Goodwill Bins in Greenville, South Carolina. This store goes by weight and it was a half off day, 88 cents and sold for 89.80. There you go. A hairless cat. This one says a trop. Oh, gosh, I feel like I should know how to say this. 
a trophy or a trophy, uh, atrophy, atrophy, <laughs> atrophy, right? It's atrophy. I knew that I knew that I knew, but I wasn't sure if I was going to get it. I'm not going to try to say it again. I got it right once, I think. Chemical Dependency Rare Demo 1987 Thrash Metal Cassette Tape. Okay, so this is some sort of crazy cassette tape. It looks really bad from the picture. <laughs> like, what is he doing? Oh, my goodness. Okay. So this one comes from the Dog Patch Picker. I got two cases of cassettes, each one holding almost 60 cassettes for two at a pre-estate sale. This rare 1987 demo was amongst them. Only one had sold on eBay in the last three years. I put it on auction and it sold for $127.50. <laughs> oh boy. Okay, here's the next one. Bust of Ian Aldridge as, oh golly, Othello, Othello. Oh man, you guys are going to be like, how do you not know who that is? That's what you guys are going to say. There was, um, I think it was a rock band or some sort of band and I didn't know it. And you guys were like, how do you not know that? And I'm like, I'm sorry. Anyway, this is Chalkware. And he said, I bought the contents of a storage unit from an estate for a, do a dollar for 175 this summer. This bust was among the contents. After some research, I discovered it was Ian Aldridge, the first African-American stage actor from the 1800s as... Uh, is it Othello or Athea? Uh, uh, I can't say it. I don't know how to say it. I'm sorry, guys. O T H E L L O. Othello. H Othello. <laughs> it's something. Hello. Um, it was made by the 3M Corporation in 1960. I listed it high, and after about six months, I accepted an offer of 366. First stage actor. Wow, in the 1800s. That is crazy. $366 he sold it for. Okay, now this is a fantastic, fantastic story. You guys ready? She said, this one comes from Cat Feel and Thrifty, and she sells on Whatnot under Cat Feel and Thrifty also, and she brings beautiful vintage jewelry to her Whatnot, and she starts stuff usually at $5 or less. So you can definitely find some beautiful pieces over on her Whatnot. Check her out. Okay, she said, my husband picked up a small, cute mannequin jewelry display with hooks. When he handed it to me, there was this bracelet hanging off of it, and I asked him what it was. He said, I don't know. It was on there when I bought it. The jewelry holder was $2, you guys. She said, I pulled it off and immediately saw that it was a real bolo. I listed it very high at $750, hoping to get $500, which most had sold for, sure enough, in less than 24 hours, I got a $500 purchase. Yes, I bonused my husband. <laughs> what does that mean? I bonused my husband. Did you give him some cash? All right, here's the bracelet. Look how pretty it is. You guys, it is a Marco. Oh boy, another word. Bicago, Bic, Bicego, Bicego. I'm going to go with Bicego. Marco Bicego. Signed 18 karat 750 gold bracelet, gemstone double chains, Italy 10G. Are you kidding me? This was hanging on something that he bought for $2. Wow. What a great lucky find that was. That is fantastic. And great photos also. Okay, let's see. Catfield and Thrifty also sold these books. Hardy Boys, complete set, 1 through 58. Um, 48 matte 10 glossy starting year 1959 most unread picked these up at a local online auction for 10 wasn't sure until I got them that the whole entire set was there sold them in less than 48 hours for full asking price of $275 based my price on based my price off of other listings so she looked up sold comps all right here's another one Picked up this bracelet with three others from the same designer at a local estate sale. Never heard of her, but there was so much gorgeous jewelry. I knew there had to be something. I knew they had to be something. Paid $35 for each one. Oh my goodness. She paid $35 for it. So that's probably why she put it on eBay and didn't bring it to whatnot. Because sometimes when we pay more for items, if we pay more, we can't bring it to whatnot and start it at $5. Because... We might lose money. So she put this one on eBay. 
She said sold one a few months ago for 99. It was a little smaller. Listed this one for 175, ran 25% off and sold it for 146.25. It is an Alex Beatar jeweled stone smoky green lucite hinged bracelet gold accents. Yes, I have heard of this brand, but only because Rach Face Forever <laughs> on Whatnot told me about it. Um, definitely check out Rach Face Forever, E-V-A, on Whatnot. She is fantastic, has beautiful jewelry. Catville and Thrifty has beautiful jewelry. I have beautiful jewelry. Please come see us. Uh, check out that Whatnot link down below. It's a super, super fun um, way to buy and sell. If you guys aren't using it, definitely check it out. All right, you guys, that concludes this video. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for watching. Check out those links down below. Those are my referral links, things that I use for my business. I've got List Perfectly down there. There's a demo video, WorthPoint. Um, let's see, what else do I use? Those are the two big ones. Um, but I also have like the poly mailers and the bubble wrap, different things like that. So there's a bunch of referral links. Check those out. And if you use them, it costs you nothing extra. So it does help me. I appreciate it greatly. It helps me keep this channel going. And you guys are all awesome. Thank you for being here. Thank you for watching. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share. And go over to the Facebook group and share a bolo so I can share it in a video just like this. Thanks for watching.